Hello students, I welcome you all in the video solutions of pre-NEET mock test 01. I'll be dealing with the botany section. In this paper, there are two sections, section A and section B. So first, we'll see the video solutions for section A. The very first question in the section A is question number 101, which says, select the pairs in which both the structures belong to two different generations. A, pollen and male gametes. B, anther and microspores. C. Embryo sac and ovule. D. Ovary and ovule. The question is talking about the two different generations. So here, what does it mean? Two different generations means? First is gametophytic generation. And the second is sporophytic generation. The gametophytic generation is haploid, whereas sporophytic generation is diploid. Now see the question. Pollen and male gametes. Pollen is haploid. Male gametes are also haploid. So they both belong to the same generation. Now B. Anther and the microspores. Anther is diploid, whereas microspores are haploid. So they belong to the two different generations. C. Embryo sac and ovule. Embryo sac is haploid whereas ovule is diploid. So they also belong to the two different generations. D. Ovary and the ovule both are diploid. So they do not belong to the two different generations. They belong to the same generation that is the sporophytic generation. So here B and C are the right choices. So the correct option for the given question is option number Let's move to the next question. Question number 102. During photorespiration, RUBP binds with O2 to form. Photorespiration occurs as Rubisco shows both the activities carboxylase as well as oxygenase. When the concentration of oxygen is high as compared to CO2, then Rubisco starts showing its oxygenase activity and this process leads to the photorespiration. Now, during photorespiration, when RUBP binds with the oxygen in the presence of Rubisco, then what happens? There is formation of a molecule called PGA, phosphoglyceric acid, plus one molecule of phosphoglycolate. Now, see the options. One molecule of PGA only. No, there is formation of one molecule of PGA and the one molecule of phosphoglycolate. Second, one molecule of PGA and one molecule of phosphoglycolate. It is true. Third, two molecules of PGA. No, two molecules of PGA are synthesized during the Calvin cycle. Fourth, one molecule of three carbon compound and one molecule of four carbon compound. No, PGA is a one molecule of 3C compound, but phosphoglycolate is a 2C compound, not the 4C. So the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Question number 103. Select the incorrect statement for productivity in the ecosystem. First option says that GPP, that stands for gross primary productivity, is rate of production of organic matter by producers during photosynthesis per unit time and area. This is true. The plants of a particular area per unit time produce or synthesize a particular amount of organic matter. This is called the gross primary productivity or in short you can say GPP. Now second is NPP is less than GPP. Yes. NPP stands for net primary productivity, which is always less than GPP. Why? Because NPP is GPP minus R. So definitely it will be less than GPP. Now third one, GPP is available biomass for consumption to heterotrophs. No. GPP is not the available biomass for consumption to heterotrophs. It is the NPP which is available to the heterotrophs, not the GPP because GPP minus R will be the NPP. Now, fourth one, NPP is rate of organic matter stored by producers in excess of respiratory loss. This is also correct. So, the correct option for the given question is option number three. 
let's move to the next question question number 104 read the below given conversion identify a and b and select the correct option this reaction is for nitrogen fixation now during nitrogen fixation there is conversion of nitrogen or molecular nitrogen into ammonia now i'll check the options here a should be ammonia now a is ammonia in option number 1 and 3 so option number 2 and 4 are ruled out now what will be b b should be h2 so here h2 is given in the third option only so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question question number 105 sapwood can be differentiated from heartwood because what is sap and heartwood if you see the section of a stem you will find that in the center it is the heartwood and at the periphery it is the sapwood now check the options sapwood does not conduct water and minerals but provides support sapwood is the wood which conducts water so this option is ruled out second heartwood is secondary xylem while sapwood is primary xylem no if we say wood it is always secondary xylem so this option is also ruled out now third hardwood is deposited with tannins resins and oils whereas sapwood lack them this is true the hardwood does not conduct water and minerals because it is filled with the tannins resins and oils but sapwood lack them fourth one hardwood conducts water as well as provides mechanical support no hardwood only provides mechanical support it cannot conduct water as well as minerals so this is also wrong statement so the correct option for the given question is option number 3 let's move to the next question mm -hmm.